Laurelie, I cannot believe how much of a tart you are. Oh my God, literally. Stop it. Hi, welcome to <laughs> Footloose Eventing and to this week's new vlog. I'm sorry, I'm just literally interrupting this display of, well, I'm basically a third wheel here. Um, they're having a bit of a love fest over the door here. Aren't you? Let's go around and see Harry. Put a sensor there. I want to see that, Lara. No one wants to see that, do we? Are you guys okay? Are you feeling the love? The love is in the air. Is it? You're ridiculous. You are actually ridiculous. It's very cool. It's very sweet, though. It's very sweet. Okay, I don't know if sweet is the word when this stuff starts happening. I've been away. I've been in Germany. Literally got back yesterday. Uh, I went to the FEI World Cup Finals in Leipzig with uh, my good friend Megan Elphick from Elphick Event Ponies and we had the best time ever. Um, basically went to go along and... I'm just going to take a seat on this handy old mountain block here. Went along to go and vlog the action um, from the show jumping, driving and vaulting. We missed the dressage, sadly that was the day before. Um, but it was absolutely fantastic and I'm going to be editing the vlog tonight for the FEI channels and um, go and take a look. They'll be live on the FEI channels as soon as I get it edited and over to them. Anyway, today, this little madam here, we're going to go for a little ride, aren't we Lara? I don't think she's going to want to go for a ride because she's going to want to stay and flirt with Harry all afternoon. But I thought I'd take you thought I'd take you with me because I haven't done a tack up and ride with me for, well, with Lara for ages. Gross. Gross. He's like bringing her into serious. I don't know. Anyone else got mares? Anyone else have to deal with this? She's just peeing all over the yard. Great. Anyway, so as I said, tack up and ride with me. I'm going to pop my GoPro on my head and uh, you're going to come along for the ride. Come along for the ride. Oh dear. That cheeky face. Look at it. Are you happy with yourself, Harry? Are you? Are you? Are you? Happy with your girlfriend? Yes, very happy with her. You've got hair everywhere. Well, maybe you can do a good job of grooming her for me because she's absolutely filthy. Look at this. This is full on shedding season here. Ooh. I don't think she wants to lick, Harry. Okay, so as we are in full coat change seasons, she's losing her winter coat and her summer coat is starting to come through. Now, obviously, this is the first year in, well, forever. I haven't clipped her this winter. So she has got a full, full on hairy bear coat which is coming out in a uh, in clumps so I've got three tools of uh, choice which I'll be using the firstly is the classic rubber curry comb now this is to basically do it in a circular motion as you will probably know which gets the um, basically gets the loose coat out I've got this which will be for the mane mainly and um, the tail and then the finale my favorite this this thing is ancient they're all to be fair all my brushes are ancient but they do the job they do the job um, it's the kbf 99 flicky dandy brush and uh, these three tools hopefully together will create you're right there a perfectly groomed horse the first thing i do when i before I start anything when I groom is give her tail a spritz with Carde Martin mane and tail because that gives it time to soak in and basically detangle it so a little one two and then by the time you get around to doing the tail it's all ready I will actually note that I don't brush her tail every day um, probably once a week tops um, and that is just basically maintain the fullness because the more you brush it the more tail falls out but luckily 
I mean, Laura can actually afford to lose a bit of tail because hers is thick as anything. Right, so her body is groomed, her tail is groomed. It's obviously not perfect because she's uh, she goes out naked at the moment because um, it's starting to warm up here and she's a bit on the porky side. She's never come out of winter looking this um, rotund. <laughs> but I think it was a combination of the very good quality food and um, lack of work that she was doing. Um, has meant that she's kept it all on and she's looking rather plump, aren't we all, Lara? Anyway, so now the last thing I'm going to do is what I do every time before I ride, oil her feet. I've already picked out her feet earlier. So this is just the last finishing touch again, Carde Martin. This one's actually the tea tree one. It says show rings shine, but you can use it kind of day in, day out and uh, just to uh, keep those feet in tip-top condition. Rightio, so the horse is all groomed. The next thing is, if you can't guess by the Velcro, booties. So Lara has a pair of front brushing boots and very important for her oh, <laughs> knee boots. Because Lara has had a fall on the road before um, in one of her spooky moments. I can't be too careful because I need to look after her knees. I hack Lara every time in my jump saddle. Uh, I think I'd be mad to hack in my dressage saddle. So basically she has a grackle bridle. So that is the figure of eight nose band. Um, and she, for hacking, she is quite strong. Um, I've hacked her in a snaffle before and she will hack in a snaffle. However, it's not the most enjoyable thing just because she's just really strong. This Cheltenham gag here, just the cheek pieces run through the bit here, as you can see. And then it just gives a little bit of extra leverage there. Um, and she actually goes really nicely in it. Now, most of the time when I'm hacking, I don't actually have a contact. So she can just kind of mosey along and then it's there if I need it when we're going a little bit faster. So I'm just going to get myself ready, which will entail popping on a high vis because I will be going on the roads. So need to have a high vis. So I've got my high vis, and then I think we're done. Then I can transfer you to my Lucy Cam. So I'll see you soon a bit, guys. Stand. So you checked my girth. Whee. Oh, you stood still for a moment. Well done. So, where are we going to go today? Before we actually go onto the road, Lara, I would like to check my girth. So, halt. There we go. One, two, oh, up two. You were breathing. Breathing out for me, weren't you? One. Oh, and there's Harry calling. He says, Can I come? Not today, Harry, sadly. So I like to hack Lara out as well. If that's what she's doing at the moment. She's just hacking. Um, she's turned into a happy hacker. She basically, last August, when I took her to an event in camp, which was actually filmed by Horse and Country TV, um, we did quite a lot in terms of, obviously, it was an eventing camp, so we did lots of eventing prep lots of jumping and then she wasn't quite feeling herself so when she came back um, we actually had her hocks injected and um, treated so medicated with steroids um, and then after that I think she sadly had another fall on the road obviously when she was coming back into work because she had like a month off after the hock injections um, and then I thought well well then I had Harry I just got Harry, so she had a lot of time off and now she's yeah starting to come in back into work. So but I've made the decision that we're not gonna rush into any eventing. I'm not totally writing it off, but um there is no there's no pressure on her basically. I like to call this road here Spooky Lane. That is because there is lots of spooky things up here 
and I can near almost guarantee that she's going to spook at least three times going down here. So, uh, so far she hasn't spooked yet and over there behind those trees, I can see, you won't be able to see it, but there's a little baby calf or a calf, a baby cow running around. So there's cows in this field and there is multiple different things. There's some scary houses and cars here and then there's pigs at the other end and Lara really doesn't like pigs, do you Lara? Hello! I'm not talking to myself, I promise. Just walk, darling, just walk. Walking, good girl. Yeah. Basically, she's such a lovely horse to hack and is anyone's hack if you don't mind a horse that's a little bit on the stronger side in a faster pace. <laughs> if you can if you can handle that then you can handle her because she's really she's really not very she's not very difficult. Quite straightforward aren't you Lara, hey? Just having a little snort at that bag. Oh that's new. What is that? What is that? I don't know what that is either darling. But we've got to go past it. Oh my Oh, <laughs> I was about to say she didn't look at that pigeon then, but she definitely did. Ooh, ooh, bin bags, bin bags, scary. We don't mind them for some reason. Mm. Oh, okay, three. <laughs> that counts as three. Little, thank you. Good girl. That's it. Well done. I would say that was quite a successful spooky lane, seeing as we're at the end and that wasn't too dramatic, was it, Lara? She really doesn't want to go this way <laughs> because we're about to go past the pigs. And uh, we've got a car coming, that's annoying. I quite like it when the cars come by when we're on this bit of road because she is a bit looky through the hedge at the piggies. Just trying to get her to chill out. Oh. That wasn't chilling out like I possibly envisaged it, Laura. It's all right, it's all right. Good girl. Good girl. It's okay. It's okay. It's a spooky bit here. Spooky bit. Good girl. Good girl. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Good girl. It's all right. Oh, they're little tiny piglets. You won't be able to see this, but they are very cute. Very cute. You don't think they're cute, do you? You think they're evil? They're fine. Well done. It's all right. Right, so this is a relatively new... Hmm, like treats. It's weird. Um, a relatively new bit that we go round. So she's not quite... Um, oh my God, it's like blibbing warship down through her. Except for with Munt Jack. There's one, two, three, four, five, six Munt Jack. And they are a little tiny native deer. And we seem to have a population of a billion. And actually, I can see two more up there. So that's six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine Munt Jack. So they are rife. And this is their favorite place to be. Don't tiddle off with me because of all the Munt Jack and the pheasants and the variety of hares and all different things which are milling around in this part. Hey Lara, eyes on stalks, literally. Oh, oh good girl. She sees us straight and she's like, are we going mum? Oh, there's another deer over there. That's an actual, that's like a roe deer. Don't run towards us. That's happened before. I had a huge red deer stack. Oh, come on Lara, it's all right. There we go, there it goes. Pop, pop, pop. I just had to get off to, um, the battery basically comes loose sometimes and it just doesn't work. So I just had to get off to wiggle it back into place. Now I need to find somewhere to get back on. And the path ahead are dangerous because of storm damage. Don't walk beyond this gate. Whoops. <laughs> That's it, and stand. Gosh, she's good at this. Just wait, just wait. I'm quite far away, Lara. Wait, right. Okay, fine, I'll use this one. No, wait. Okay, I can start this out. 
just need something which is just not totally the floor. No, wait, wait then. Come on, back. Come on, darling. Back you go. Good girl. Back you go. I can't walk you that way because, well, I can actually. Screw it. Come on. Walk on. I was just saying how good you are at this. And now look at you. Stand. Good girl. That's it. Well. Oh my god. Wait. Okay. Right. That was not very elegant. So, yeah, this bit is really pretty. Oh my god. You speak of that every time there's a stream there. Oh, and again. We are back at the beginning of the track. Oh, <laughs> here we are coming up to the pub and we're going to go say hi. Hi, hi. <laughs> You're going to be on the vlog, Jess, because I'm currently, I'm currently filming. My GoPro is live. Lara Lee says, is there any carrots in the kitchen that she can oh, have? I think we can get you some carrots. Just one. <laughs> one carrot and a, and, a, and a really small gin and tonic. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, this is the service that you want from the Beddingfeld Arms. Yeah. Look, it's an apple. Oh, oh, she says that's yummy. really yummy. <laughs> that is so yum. Yeah, oh, she's we like... We roasted all the carrots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> came on the wrong on day. Yeah. Should have come on Saturday, Lara. Yeah, we cook them all. Yeah, no, she she nice? she does love an apple though. Like this one. Don't it's you? Like a, it's like a yeah. Tree. Thanks, Jess. That's okay. Look at this. There we go. Service, <laughs> guys. Cheers. It's a Sunday. Mmm. That's nice. You too. Have a nice evening. See you soon. Uh, where can we go? We'll go this way. This way. Come on. That's it. Well done. Whee! Good girl. So guys, if you want a nice Sunday lunch or lunch from Wednesday to Sunday onwards, the Beddingfeld Arms in Oxford, Norfolk is the place to go. Hashtag not an ad. <laughs> Finishing with the trot, trot, no, we're trotting, sorry, down this, it's like sand, so it's quite good. Just have a trot down, but Lara does not want to trot, she wants to canter. She wants to canter. Okay, we can have a tiny one, just a tiny, you've got to come back to me first though. I know, I know, I know. You are so naughty. Yes, you are. This is not a slow canter that I wanted. Lara, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Stop. You naughty. Absolute naughty girl. <sighs> You're like a racehorse. A puffy one. <laughs> right, just hold. You're hoeing now. You're hoeing now. Oh, good hole. Oh. oh. That's enough. That's enough. You can't canter too much when I've just got back, can you, hey? Not when I've just got back, no. No, no, trot. Trot. She says, no, I'm not trotting, Mum. I'm not trotting, Mum. I'm excited now. I've had an apple from the pub. I'm ready to go. I mean, this is quite comfy for me to be fair, but I'm not actually pulling. But I feel like you're going to creep faster and faster, aren't you? Ah, 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 ah. No creeping, you've got to trot. I'm still not trotting, but this is, this is quite nice and enjoyable. Da, da, da. It's literally sand down here. Well, I think that was such a lovely hack, don't you, Laura Lee? Hey, so Laura's just going to have her supper now, and then she's going to go back out in the field. But she she wants this, guys, don't you? You want it? It's not very, not very good manners there, is it? <laughs> so if you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more adventures. Maybe next time with Harry. Pack up and ride with me with Harry. Or maybe we can take Bon for a little walk, hey? Hey? But for now, I've got to get the horses sorted. <laughs>
and uh, ready to go back out in the field and before it gets dark because we are losing the light. However, I think we've made it to 7.39, 7.40. So yeah, anyway, so see you guys again soon in the week. Actually, guys, <laughs> didn't tell you, I've got some epic, epic exciting news for you. So stay tuned to find out. Ciao for now. Thank you.